Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to lecture 82. So, we have been doing uh, the generalized uh, trajectory transfer uh, in a planar orbit or coplanar orbit. So, we will continue with that. So, going back into the previous lecture and looking for that here tan f phi i and tan phi f both of them will involve theta i and theta f. So, that means the true anomaly for both these orbits need to be determined. If it is circular orbit, so it can be from uh, in any uh, reference line you can do, but uh, if it is uh, an elliptic orbit, then we have to measure it from the uh, proper reference line, which in this case constitutes your uh, the perigee periapsis. Okay, so we have defined tan phi i equal to tan phi i this we have got as e sin theta i divided by L cap and uh, tan phi f now we utilize this relation r equal to L by 1 plus e cos theta to get the value for theta. So, e cos theta this will be L by r minus 1 and e cos theta i then we can write as L by r i minus 1. So, this gets reduced to L cap minus 1 and then based on this we can uh, write e sin theta i equal to e times um, or sin theta is let us write it like this sin theta i equal to 1 minus cos theta i square under root equal to 1 minus cos theta i is here in this case 1 by e times L cap minus 1. So, this will be a square, this also get a square and this under root. Okay. So, this is one part here which we can write as 1 by e times e a square minus L cap minus 1 whole square under root. Similarly, we will have sin theta f equal to 1 minus uh, first let us write cos theta f and from there then we write the sin theta f cos theta f equal to e cos theta f to L by r f here minus 1. So, L by r i divided by L cap by n minus 1 and therefore, sin theta f cos theta f square uh, 1 minus cos theta f square under root. Cos theta f is 1 by e times L cap n minus 1 this is square this is square under root C 
sin theta s. So, by this treatment you can work equally for the circular or the elliptic orbit uh, whatever it may be because the I have done a generalized here uh, treatment for this. So, if the circular orbit case it becomes easy to work out in the elliptic orbit we have to take into account uh, all these uh, angles. So, you know, okay, anyway uh, we have been able to work out all these things. So, finally, we can summarize here therefore, tan phi i this will be equal to e by e by l cap times sin theta i which is 1 by e times e a square minus L cap minus 1 square or 1 by L cap E square minus Let us name this as equation A here. In the same way, uh, the rest thing uh, I will write here in this place. Tan phi f. This will be given by n e divided by l cap times one by e. E square minus here we have written sin theta f. So, sin theta f we to need to replace here in this equation we are going to insert this. Okay, so, this is uh, n e divided by l cap 1 by e e a square minus l cap divided by n minus 1 whole square n by l cap and this equation we term as b. Okay. So, uh, we have uh, got till this point, but still our job is not done because you look here in this place we require cos phi in both the places cos phi i and cos phi f. So, till now we have been able to resolve it in terms of tan phi i times phi f and where the here if on the right hand side the theta was appearing then we eliminated theta. So, dependence on the true anomaly has gone in the equation a and b, okay. but uh, still it is in terms of tan phi. So, we need to convert this into tan f uh, this uh, in terms of alpha, uh, cos this in terms of tan we have to change it to cosine. Okay. So, cos phi i this will be equal to 1 by sec phi i 1 by 1 plus tan phi i square under root. Tan phi i square just now we have worked out 1 by l cap this is 1 by l cap square and times 
e a square minus l cap minus 1 1 whole square and this under root. L cap a square plus E a square minus L cap a square plus 2 L cap plus 1. L cap a square plus E a square. root L cap L cap cancels out this is E square plus 2 L cap minus 1. So, this is cos phi i similarly cos phi f can be obtained check phi f equal to 1 by 1 plus tan phi f square under root and then inserting the corresponding values from the previous equation L cap a square times n by L cap, this is n by L cap. So, here we have to put here n also, n by L cap a square cos uh, tan phi i n by L cap a square E a square then E a square minus L by L cap divided by N minus 1 whole square. This also goes as N square. times L cap plus and then minus n square. So, this quantity, this quantity can drops out and left with L cap divided by So, this way for our uh, the angles are known, if we try to put all the equations in the uh, all these equation in a final thing, it becomes very tough to manage, Okay, equation becomes very long, but if you have to do the com computation, then it is uh, quite easy. You keep computing the quantities at each step and then finally, use it into the uh, symbolic equation that we have. Okay, so, for with this we have delta v i a square equal to v i e a square plus v i c a square minus 2 v i e times v i c times cos is here phi i. So, cos phi i already we have worked out on the previous page. So, cos phi i is here finally, this is minus 1. So, L cap divided by L cap divided by 
root root e square 12 minus 1 e square plus 12 cap minus 1 this is one equation and delta f square equal to v f e square plus v f c square minus 2 v f e times v f c and then here instead of cos phi uh, for cos f cos phi f appears here. So, for that we are writing here uh, l cap divided by l cap divided by under root 2 n l cap e square minus 1 times n square. Okay, so, the, at the initial point what will be the impulse required it can be computed from this particular equation. Little bit uh, simplification we can further do to represent it in the parametric terms. So, we can write this as delta v i by v i c a square. symbolically this is your delta v i and this can be written as 1 plus v i e cap the notation we are using minus 2 v i e cap l cap times e square plus 2 l cap minus 1 under root. So, you may not be able to realize what is the benefit of putting in this form. Okay. This is a non dimensional quantity and this you have divided by v i c. So, uh, whenever this quantity you are calculating and just multiplying by v i c, this is v i c a square, okay. a square was missing. So, we should put v i c cap a square, v i cap a square. So, here uh, you just need to multiply by any time by v i c a square. So, your delta v i a square will get recovered and uh, this helps in parametric study this is the benefit, okay. but we are not going to do all the plots and other things, but uh, once you have in this format or either here in this format your equation is there. So, it is a very easy to work out the problem. Okay, next we have uh, so what we have got here delta v i by delta v i c uh, delta v i by v i c we have written as delta v i cap and this we are squaring to get the square here and this we have written as 1 plus v i e a square minus 2 times v i e cap times l cap divided by 2 l cap minus 1 under root. This is what we have written here. Now, we replace v i e here in this place and v i e we have derived it earlier. Look here in this place v i e and v f e. So, we can utilize this result to solve this problem.
So, 1 plus v i e will be v i e okay, first we need to divide here. So, if you divide it v i e by v i c. So, this comes in v i e by v i c a square equal to v i e cap a square okay, so and this is the quantity we are looking for. So, that simply becomes 2 minus 1 minus e a square divided by l cap. So, this quantity simply becomes 2 minus 1 minus e a square divided by l cap. this becomes 3 minus 1 minus e square divided by l cap minus 2 times this is uh, reduced to 2 l cap plus e square minus 1 divided by l cap under root times l cap divided by this term and this term they drop out to l cap under root. delta v i cap a square. So, this is the impulse required at the in the non dimensional format impulse required at the initial point or in the initial orbit. Similarly, we can find out the impulse required impulse required in the final orbit. delta f a square we have written as f e a square plus f c a square minus 2 v f e times v f c cos phi f. to cos phi. Using the same symbol as we have used earlier, this quantity if we go back and look here V f e we have written here. This quantity is V i c. Okay. So, if we divide on this side here we have written in this equation V f e by V this is R i v f e divided by v i c a square equal to 2 by n minus 1 minus e a square by l cap. So, we utilize this relation here. So, this quantity becomes 2 divided by n minus 1 minus e a square by l cap okay. and v f c by v i c. Okay. This is nothing but you have written in terms of v f c equal to mu by R f and uh, mu by r i and the square of that. Okay, so, th this is under root under root. So, from here we get as 1 by and from there then we wrote this as r i by r f a square 
or 1 by under root n square. So, 1, 1 by under root n square, so this we have done earlier and same thing we have to insert here 2 divided by n minus 1 minus g square by L cap under root times 1 by n cap under root and multiplied by cos phi f. So, cos phi f we have to pick up from the previous derivation cos phi f we have done here. So, this is the final thing L cap divided by 2 n L plus E square minus 1 n square. So, L cap divided by 2 L cap n plus E square minus 1 n square. So, this part can be simplified, this becomes 1 by n. So, directly you can see this is 3 by n minus 1 minus E square divided by L cap and minus and then this quantity you will see that from this place 2 times L cap this becomes and here. Uh, so, 2 times L cap and we have uh, 1 by root n cap is here. So, suppose if we take it inside here in this place. Okay. So, we will be able to simplify it. Uh, I will have to go and do it on the next page, but the final result will turn out to be in this way L cap divided by n. Two by this is let us check this value. V F C Y is equal to 1 by n, this one is 1 by n, but uh, the square term already we have put here in this 1 by n. So, here we have taken 2 times a square root. So, only 1 times a square root should go okay. and then we need to bring it inside. So, if we bring it inside, so here this will be uh, something like a n square and times L cap n okay. and then once you multiply it. So, the uh, simplification will take place. I do not have a space here. Uh, let us say uh, that I rub out this and work out here itself. It will be easy in working. Two times under root two divided by n square minus one minus e square divided by L cap n and then L cap divided by two L cap n plus e square minus one times n square. And this will be two times two L cap n minus 1 minus e a square times n a square divided by n a square times L cap uh, 
two y m square we have done the mistake here n square l cap so n square we have the two times okay then we need to write it in a proper way if we are writing like that otherwise we can write here as okay i will rewrite this whole thing two times n square times l cap is the lcm so n square this is 2l cap and uh, then minus 1 minus ca square and l cap this is n and then l cap divided by n n we can take it out from this place or uh, so that uh, it's a better in representation 2 l cap plus ea square minus 1 n so now it's a okay so this term and this term this cancels out and uh, here we are left with then 2 l cap under root and uh, this is uh, n cap and here this is n square under root so n cube under root so two times l cap by n cube under root but simply this is 2 divided by n times l cap by n this is what we have written here so this way we have been able to find out uh, all the uh, corrections uh, required uh, or all the impulses required in different places and uh, this quantities we have to take the magnitude of this mod of this and then add them to get the final what will be delta v so this will be delta vi plus delta va whatever the technique we have applied the same thing has to be applied to the uh, elliptic or be it circular the same technique will go only thing rather than working using this method i will not use for solving any problem this is only meant for parametric study if i have to solve this problem at least uh, it is um, at uh, each stage i will just keep calculating these values okay uh, what is the tan phi uh, these are the things required okay and uh, rather than putting in non dimensional format i will just go with this equation okay and uh, using those values i will calculate it and do this so uh, i will never use this equation and uh, this equation that i have written here cuz you need to remember this any time you have to use it and you have to do many reductions so rather than doing this we can directly we we need not remember all these equation we can directly work from the basics and uh, any time you can solve the trajectory transfer problem if you start with the basic okay so we stop here today and we'll continue in the next lecture thank you very much